pedatronic. Gire has all of its teeth at the same high, but each tooth keeps a specific distance from the center of the gear. Gear B has all of its teeth at the same distance from the center of the gear, but each tooth keeps a specific high position. Let's see this two gears functioning. In this example, gear A receives the speed and strength directly from the engine. Gear B varies its speed as shown in the graphic at one side. As can be seen, gear B varies its speed from a minimum to a maximum speed, maintaining each speed for a specific space of time. Let's take a closer and detailed look. Decreasing speed space Minimum speed space Increasing speed space Maximum speed space The perfect coordination between the teeth of both gears is appreciated. In this example, the teeth were straight, although they can adopt other shapes. Here is the hydatronic with spiral teeth. Let's see what can be done with a speed variation. The blue gear represents the low speed gear and the red gear represents the high-speed gear. Both gears are fed directly by the vehicle's engine. The green gear represents the variable-speed gear, fed by the headatronic, which is fed by the vehicle's engine. This gear has its maximum speed equal to the red's gear speed, and its minimum speed is equal to the blue's gear speed. Finally, the brown gear represents the transmission gear, which receives the speed and power from the blue, green, and red gear, according to the position that the brown gear may have. Let's see this gears in motion. The brown, or transmission gear, is positioned on the blue gear. So, the vehicle's speed will be low. When the green gear reaches the low speed, the brown gear can directly pass from the blue gear to the green gear. After this, the green gear smoothly increases its speed and reaches the red gear's speed, allowing the brown gear to pass from the green to the red gear. So, using this principle, here is an example of a six-speed gearbox, where the headatronic device feeds the green gears. The simplicity of the mechanism permits to project future gearboxes with no limit in the quantity of speeds. This is a six-speed gearbox. But with the headatronic technology there is no limit in the quantity of speeds. Here is a 14-speed gearbox, with no more complexity than the last one. Only with more gears.